White Eagles TV, all things Serbian football. Thanks for tuning in. My name, my name is Mitch, as always. I'll be your host. Uh, and I, yeah, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I'm going to post another video on the current uh, presidency for the Serbian Savez uh, at the moment. As probably we all know, that there's only two candidates for this uh, for the presidency. One is a player we all know, we've all seen play. Nemanja Vidic, a uh, Manchester United legend. Uh, he played for a few other teams, but let's face it, he's a Manchester United legend. And the other guy we've probably never seen play before, but we've heard great stories that he's a great strike, uh, he's a great winger and played great for Yugoslavia in, in, his, in his day and so on. Uh, Dragan Zajic. Uh, they're the two people uh, going for the presidency. And uh, you know, if I was a betting man, which I am, I would put all my money on Dragan Zajic. Uh, winning the presidency only because it's Serbia and we know what a rotten system it is, uh, corrupt to the hilt uh, and we all know he's going to win. Uh, he's got probably no qualifications apart from just, you know, being um, uh, just being one of the old boys in Serbian football. There's the man there, 78 year, years young, perfect time to start running the Saves. I'm sure he's got a million new ideas for the Saves and He'll take us to a new level we've never seen before. I mean, we've seen our levels; they've all been pretty bad. But apparently, he's gonna he's gonna take us to a new world. Um, but look, let's start with Nemanja Vidić. Um, I haven't been able to find a lot of articles about Nemanja Vidić and this process. He's been very cagey. Uh, but I did find one in the uh, in the English uh, in the English papers uh, where he talks about um, wanting to uh, run for presidency. Uh, just down here he goes, uh, there are rumblings in Serbia that he will run in the upcoming election. We all know that he is uh, to become the next president of Serbian football. And although he declines to discuss the role, he's happy to outline his ethos and ideas. I want to be someone who can affect football and bring something to it from uh, the perspective of the fans and the players. He explains in Serbia, there are different challenges. We need competitive people in the right roles. I think there's a lot of money in, in the football. So in, so in positions of sporting directors, scouts, you have experts which are going to help you and want you uh, what you want. Um, obviously, um, he knows that the odds are stacked against him to become the next president of Serbia. Uh, we as fans, uh, people who follow football closely in Serbia know that not only are they stacked against him, uh, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion, in my opinion anyway, that he will not win. Uh, Zayic will win. Uh, and uh, the, the elections are on the 14th of March, so it's about maybe about three weeks away. Uh, I'm confident that Zayic will win. Best thing for Serb football would be someone like Nemanja Vidic, who has played through this current mess we're in, where we continuously fail uh, to perform at World Cups. Can't make a Euro to save, save our lives. And unfortunately... Uh, he won't get a shot at trying to, uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am though. But uh, let's let's talk about the the new, uh, or the, probably the new president for Serbia of the Saves. Uh, let's talk about when he was arrested. Uh, so this is an article I found a little while ago now, 2008, 6th of February. So, you know, almost, uh, what's that, 15 years ago? Uh Vice President of the Saves, Dragan Zajic, and two other former Red Star officials were arrested on Tuesday for alleged fraud and abuse of power. Police said Zajic, a former president of Serbian champions Red Star, was detained along with former Director of Operations Vladimir Svetković, uh, someone else. Uh, the three long-serving former uh, Red Star officials have been arrested under suspicions that have abused their positions and forged identification documents in the period of 2001-2002. Uh, the three former Red Star officials uh, concluded a deal stipulating the club will get 27 million German marks from the transfer of Goran Drulic, it, well, a player that just never reached any heights, unfortunately. He was being compared with so many players and in the end he just went nowhere. They had forged documents to falsely show that uh, Drulic was to receive 18 million German marks from the transfer. Then they opened a bank account to Drulic's name without his knowledge and transferred the Spanish club's payment for the Red Star player in the amount of 6 million euros uh, to the Red Star's account. After doing that, they made several withdrawals by using Drulic's fake signature they had forged to make illegal profit for themselves. Uh, Zayic's uh, lawyer said the 60-year-old, 62-year-old uh, former Yugoslav winger 
had been taken to investigate uh, taken to the investigating judge for questioning uh, and called his arrest a disgrace for Serbia. After mandatory 48 hours detention, he was uh, questioned and released. Uh, the Sabers was shocked. Even they were like you can even see in the article shocked. I mean they're all they're all in it. They're all crooks. Uh, ahead of Serbia's friendly against Macedonia, uh, team coach Miroslav Djukic said they would focus on the game as the best way to help the country's soccer at this difficult moment. Uh, we will make no attempt to hamper the investigation or we'll re refrain from making any further comments, uh, the spokesman of Sabers said. As I uh, became, a, and then we just talked about, uh, his arrest in what police called a comprehensive crackdown on illegal soccer activities came only a week after the apprehension of five other senior uh, soccer officials. Um, and they just talk about some other crooks in Serbian football. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now, they, there you go. So, they've obviously, I, I mean, you saw the article, Goran Drulic, they've just, you know, embezzled a bit of money before uh, Goran Drulic was to get it. And they've opened up a fake bank account and then they've just withdrawn money from that fake bank account. Classic, classic uh, Serbian football, i got to say. Uh, but here we go. Uh, and you're probably wondering, what, what, whatever happened to those, uh, that court trial and so on and so forth? What well, here you go. Um, uh, so on the 31st of January 2011, the trial started in which stage was charged uh, with fraud. Um, he pleaded not guilty. Charges against Nemanja Vidić were dropped. Uh, he also uh, Nemanja Vidić also uh, brought up in this, but uh, that was dropped against him. Uh, on the 16th of November 2012, uh, uh, President of Serbia uh, Tomislav Nikolic signed an exempt from criminal liability of all charges. The pardon ended all legal proceedings against Zajic. There you go. I mean, you know the saying, no honor amongst thieves. I guess in this one, there, there was a little bit of honor amongst thieves and, you know, he got off on it. You know, there you go. So, and then, uh, boom, uh, he just back into Zvezda and back into football. And, and that's just how the country works. Um, obviously, all this is allowed with, you know, Zay trying uh, against Vidic. It's because of Vucic, uh, the president of Serbia. Everything goes for him. He can be the one to bring this to an end if he wants to. Obviously, he's, he's not going to want to. Uh, why would he? Uh, they're all they're all in on it together. Um, but what well, we'll have to see. Four, 14th of March. I hope UEFA is watching. Hope FIFA is watching uh, the the corruption in you know, at the Saves and and puts an end to it. Uh, but we all know they don't. They're not going to care. Uh, but look, my boy on Serbian uh, Serbian football on Twitter. Who who should be the next FSS president? Uh, Nemanja Vidic, 96%. Uh, Dragan Zajic, almost 4%. And that's 2,066 votes. That's a lot. That That's a, a, a substantial amount of people following uh, this account voting for Nemanja Vidic. I mean, we all know he's the right man for this job here with it. I also ran a similar poll on my Instagram uh, account, uh, uh, White Eagles uh, TV on Instagram. I hope everyone follows. There it is there, barely all over Televisia. I also run, but I can't seem to find it. But my results, I did find the result. Uh, it was 94% Vidic, uh, percent Vidic uh, Zayic. I had 6%. Uh, so obviously more of my followers are Zayic fans than uh, Serbia footies followers. Uh, but there you go. Um, when, when are the election? 14th March. I mean, look, we all know it's, it's a foregone conclusion that uh, <laughs> and I actually cracked up at this. <laughs> That's, there you go. Uh, maybe maybe uh, Nemanja Vidić should uh, print these posters and put them around Belgrade, uh, in Novi Sad, uh, all the made niche, uh, everywhere, Loznica. Uh, <laughs> look at that photo. I cracked up. I, I've never seen this photo until today. Uh, and he posted 76-year-old uh, Zajic as officially being nominated as a candidate and will oppose Nemanja Vidić in the race for new president. He is in 2008 being arrested for illegally embezzling $6.2 million from the transfer of Goran Tulic. Uh, deal to Rayo Azaragoza. That that's got to say that that's hilarious. I mean, that's who you're up against. If you're up against someone like this and you can't win, well then uh, there you go. Uh, so that's all I want to say on it. Um, I hope Vidic does win because we do need change at you know at the Saves. Uh, you know, is this one of the reasons we underperform at every? I mean, we're the only we we're, we're the only football team that went to the. Uh, World Cup without a president. Honestly, I don't think that should matter at all that we don't have a president. I mean, who cares? 
but apparently it does have some bearing on the way the team performs. Uh, you know, I'm not a football administrator, so I don't I don't know how any of that so internal politics works. Um, but so we'll find out on the 14th of March. That's that's when we'll see the uh, corruption uh, unfold, and Zage will be the man who will win. Because obviously, with Vidic coming in, he will start making changes. He won't listen to the powers that be. He won't listen to this director, that director, this president. He will say, "No, this is what I believe has to happen, and we're moving forward." Obviously, that you know, powers that be don't want that. They want a yes man. They want someone that's been that system his whole life. Zayich is, I mean, let's face it, no one more perfect than that. You saw him uh, handcuffed, so he's obviously the perfect man for the job. Uh, but it's it's a sad state if he does win, and I hope you wait for. I was just watching it. Um, and I'll just say at the end, uh, yesterday, the 20th of February, it's the 21st here in, in Sydney, Australia, um, would have been Sinisha's Mihailovic's 54, uh, uh, would have turned 54, wish him happy birthday. Uh, there he is, the great man there playing uh, in, a, what a fantastic jacket there, playing for the Yugoslavia team back then. Uh, that's a fantastic Adidas jacket, that design, oh, I haven't got that in my collection, I'd love to get that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's sad that he passed away not long ago. Uh, but you know we can remember him by just posting on Instagram and Twitter pictures of him. Uh, you know him scoring free kicks, which I did on my Instagram account. Um, I did on my Instagram account where he's yeah. Let, let me just uh, and here he is here. Let me just turn this no sound. Uh, how many times did he get uh, Yugoslavia out of a jam with his free kicks? You know uh, was incredible. Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you. Um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I uh, hope you mention it to your friends and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to build something here for the fans. Ahead of the Euro qualifiers, I'll do a lot more videos on our on our games at Euros. Now that you know the Euros are starting uh, about a month and, and a few days away. Uh, thanks for tuning in to White Eagles TV. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you soon.